So today is kind of a big day for me. Um, today is the day that I go in for an interview at H&M um, for a job position there. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but I tried to get in there a long time ago. And it wasn't like a turn down, it was just a we aren't hiring sort of thing. But um, they recently reached out to me and wanted me to come in for an interview. So I get to do that today. And then also, today is my dad's birthday. See, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for me because for any other work experience I've had, it's always been in a very, very nice shirt like these ones with like the collars and the buttons all the way down the front. But this is my first interview for a company that doesn't require very nice um, apparel. I mean, it's nice apparel, it's just not like um, like iron. I asked her if I should come in like a suit and tie, make it preppy, and she said, no, just come in something that you'd wear to work. So I have to choose something H&M workish. One thing I know about this company is that they already have my resume because when the girl called me for the phone interview, she was using stuff off of my resume to question me to make sure like I was who I was saying and then she was like double checking on things to make sure that they hadn't changed since I had last talked to them. Um, but I did print another one just in case and I know that's like it might seem oh, like oh, overdone but it is a very important thing, I know for a fact, to have a resume on you to give to whoever you're talking to. And I am talking to more than one manager. so. If one of them has the resume, I can give the other one this one. I'm about three minutes from walking in. So nothing is actually official yet, but one of the ladies that I talked to said that I have a very good chance, and that was even before the interview. Um, and I did a good job on the interview, I think. Um, the ladies were very, very nice. Uh, I got to present myself in a very appealing way, I think. And um, I don't know, it was just a really, really good experience. I'm very, uh, I'm looking very positively on the outcome. Hopefully, um, Sunday there is a callback. So I get to come back on Sunday from 10 o'clock to 2, and that's for like a second round interview with the, uh, the head honcho. I guess she's like the location manager or something like that. Um, I have a second round with her, and then after that it should be official. So I'm very, very, very excited. And yeah, that is pretty much, I guess, how you apply for a job. So I do get to go home now, thank God. <laughs> it is really hot out. That's ghetto. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Mom's starting a vlogging channel. <laughs> I know. I've already got 83 million followers. Jordan, what's up with okay. you? Okay. Uh What's up everyone? Sorry that there was not a lot of vlogging at the end of the day. Um, that was basically just because it was my dad's birthday and I didn't want to have my phone out the entire time just like recording everything. Um, we were trying to make it a little bit special. Um, the reason there was such like a long gap in between the daytime and the nighttime was because I took a three hour nap today. So I got tons of sleep. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight even though I look like really tired, I'm not. Um, I have a lot of stuff I do need to do tonight. I have a lot of school work that I need to catch up on because I didn't do it today and I need to. So um, I'm gonna go get all that stuff done probably before three o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you, oh, one more thing. Um, me and my dad were watching 24 and we just watched the season finale of season three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 24 is a very emotional show. Like if you've ever seen it, you know. Sorry, I don't know why I have this spot on my forehead, but um, if you've ever watched 24, you know it's a very, very emotional show. 
the season finale of season three, you have the hard man, Jack, who saves the world. He wa he pretty much he practically watched his wife get killed by his ex girlfriend. His daughter was like kidnapped twice. His partner was kidnapped and tortured, and all this very dramatic stuff happens in the day. And you fall in love with Jack. Like you want him to be your father. You want to be him uh, without all the bad stuff that happens. But it's he's a very very attachable, very liked character, and you just know him as being this complete solid rock, just a very solid character in the show. And at the very end, the season finale, the last last minute to the end he breaks down crying in his car and it's like so ridiculously gripping like oh he had to chop off his own partner's hand because his partner had a bomb strapped to it and he needed to get it off so he ended up cutting off his own partner's hand and like the, the combination of everything that he had to do that day was like it's too much and he ended up breaking down crying at the very end so it was the most dramatic most emotional scene I've ever seen in a TV show. It was ridiculous. Um, anyway, that was way too long. I need to finish the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. If you guys are new, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow at the same time with another one. So until then, kinks to you, and I will see you in the next one without this stupid spot on my forehead. Peace out.